Okay guys, so we're going to look at um, our core conditioning and we're going to look at using a stability ball and how we can build up the strength of our shoulders and our core and how we have to maintain control at the lumbar pelvic hip region. So we're looking for a lot of stability, a lot of mobility, really tough matrix here. The aim is to get the 20 repetitions of most of the exercises. If you need to, just start low, take a break between the exercises, and then aim to, to go as hard as you can. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so we're here with Paulina, and Paulina is going to take us through her first exercise on a stability ball. So, she's going to aim to keep her body as straight as possible, so her bum is going to be lowered down, it's going to be in a good straight line, and then she extends through the elbows. So, she's going to maintain good core strength the whole way through. So, she'll do 20 repetitions of this. If she's able to, what she'll do, she'll transition into the next position. But for the demonstration, the, the demonstration purposes, we're just going to get Paulina to break. And we're going to go to our second exercise. Okay, superb. So this time, exactly the same position. Real straight body line position. Now her elbows are extended. Tough exercise this. Because now what she's got to do is she's got to flex and extend at the shoulder while maintaining the core and the rest of the body in a nice straight position and this is a an anti-rotation anti-flexion anti-extension so she's trying to uh, maintain good control of the core here so there's our second exercise in it right so our third exercise is where Pauline is going to go back onto her elbows back into the plank position we call this stir the pot or rotations and now she's going to have good movement at the shoulders great core control legs are slightly wider apart she's going to do 20 clockwise if she needs to take a break she can take a break and then she's going to go back into 20 anti-clockwise it's a really tough exercise here so we're going to go and um, move on to our fourth exercise so she's going to go back into an extended position and we're going to do some mountain climbers so good straight line position she's going triple flexion to extension so she's flexing her hip knee and ankle she's keeping her toes to the nose so that's the dorsiflexion going on there the hands are either side of the ball because that helps with stability of the ball excellent so she do 10 on each side so we're coming up to a really tough exercise where Paulina is going to go up onto the ball and she's going to try and balance on one elbow. So in this position here, you can see she's now, so she's quite good at this. And trust me, this is a very tough exercise. So she's maintaining great control. Her hand goes right through. She does six on one side. Now, if she's good enough, she can transition from this position onto the other elbow. If you need to take a break here, guys, take a break here. So you can see the real good rotation here. A lot of flexibility, a lot of mobility, a lot of strength going on here. Fantastic. So moving on to our next exercise, what Pauline is going to do is she's going to go towards the wall and she's going to do side raises. So what she's going to do is change her legs around so her feet aren't crossed over. So the left one, so as long as you're not crossed over, guys, you're, you're going to be good in this position. And take a wide stance, and she's got to be sitting on the ball. So in this position here, you can see that she's working on her external, internal obliques. So good mobility, good flex, good um, stability, good control. And she's really on her side here, so she's not kind of halfway up or halfway down. And when she's done 20, guys, then she'll go on to the other side. So, Pauline, if you just do a couple on the other side so they can see you go into that position again. So sits nice and high on the ball, so her bum is on the ball, keeps her legs really spread out apart, and then you can see that ladder flexion going from there. So now, the core is made up of muscles at the back as well, so what we're going to do is lie um, on front of the ball, so hips are on front of the ball, and we're going to do some back extensions. So she's not going to go up too far, so it's just a little bend, she just wants to go to a straight position excellent so this is our stability ball matrix you can make it as tough as you want you can add weight into this you can increase the number of repetitions you don't have to take a break in between each one um, really good matrix to help build the strength endurance and control of the whole body so the kinetic chain um, and thank you Paulina for that